Hi lovely people, I am so excited. Look at what I am. My beautiful rustic kitchen with a lovely wood fire oven. It's quite hot underneath here. And with all the lovely Parmigian Reggiani, which I'm gonna make this fantastic dish. You will love it. What I'm gonna make it? Easy. I'm gonna make a baked sea bass with potato and Parmigiano Reggiano. Little bit of butter, little bit of sage on top. Hey, hallelujah! But first of all, let me show you the way I have to do it. You need nice baking dish. I got my one because everything is old inside here, but everything works in perfection. So nice one like this one, and you can use a terracotta, you can use porcelain, any terrine stuff we can do. You can do a small one, big one, any size. Nice bit of butter, which I use with my hands. And everybody, even the children can do that. Just get a butter and just rub the insides. Make sure they are abundant. Really plenty, plenty, plenty. Butter is nice. By the way, you can do this with olive oil as well. But because butter and sage and parmigiano reggiano goes well. So once you've done all this, leave them a bits and pieces as well inside if you want to. The simplicity is so good. Put them on the side. Get your hands clean. <laughs> now, look at this sea bass. How wonderful it is. Ask your fishmonger to fillet for you. One fillet if you're making a small one. If you make a large like this one, perhaps I use one small and one big. First of all, you get a few potato, which what I done with the potato, I slice very thin, you can see, parboil it for about three minutes. Yeah, three to four minutes, because when actually you're building the lay of a potato, some of the middle potato, if you don't pre-boil it, they're gonna stay a little bit al dente, and the word al dente, it means almost cooked, but this one, we wanted a full cook. So you just put them inside. Quite easy. It's almost like making a lasagna. Doesn't matter if some they lose or some not. Oh yes, I love to make this dish. I just love it. Put this one on top here. Make sure there is nothing inside the fish. And let you do some sushi. Got my knife. I wonder if I can do some sushi. Oh yes, I think I can. Look at that finish. Beautiful. Oh yes. Ask uh, your fish manga to do it. Mike can do it. Just to start to put some inside. Don't forget it goes parmesan inside here as well. And sometimes you get confused. I put fish before, I didn't put the cheese before. I put the sedge before, but I didn't use the fish because I put the parmesan. Now it doesn't matter. Anywhere we'll do it. It's this one as well. And then again, I'm gonna go right underneath to the skin. Just, just put them all along. Let's just see. I want each potato be touched from the fish. Each potato gonna celebrate the fish on top. It's, this is the way to do it. Lovely sage. If you have a large leaves of sage, just make sure you remove it from the middle of the stalk. Just drop it. There it goes. Just, just a little bit, not too much. Fantastic, that's what you want. A little bit of salt, just a little touch. Oh, yes. Now, I'm gonna put a little notch again of a butter. I know it looks like a splendid butter, but believe me or not, this butter will disappear also when they get all together with flavor of the dish. Now, the best goes on top. Try to use a cheese grater, or if you can't do that, use a knife. All right, using knife, you, you shave. <sighs> so easy. Do you think so? And then again, you get a potato, you start to lay again, one on top of the other, or on the side. Little bit butter, this time we go the other way around. Little salt, just a little bit. Sage, the parmesan. By the way, this parmesan is 18 months old. It's quite young, goes well with the fish. Can I put a fish inside there? No, I won't put a fish inside there. Now, let's do the sushi work. You know, I can speak Japanese. It is my knife. It's the fish. Look at the skin already. And, ah, and the fish goes straight in. So thin. On the skin here, yeah? how are you going to get that one off? Easy. There it is. 
Oh, yes. One ant. Believe me or not, one ant. Come on. Yes, I have. Just. Now we go back to the potato again. This particular dish I'm doing, I learned how to make many years ago, talking about quite a few years ago, in Venice. I used to be with the late Antonio Carluccio, and we were filming, and this man showed us how to use a Parmigiano Reggiano with a fish. He said, you can use monkfish, you can use a saltfish, and you can use sea bass, bream, any, any kind of, of a fish. But it, it's really delicious, because once you put them in the oven, don't forget, the butter starts to melt. And don't forget also the potato still got plenty of water inside. You know, they give it a kind of a juice. And that's also is very nice when they become lovely and crispy on top. Again, I know it does quite a lot of butter, but this is enough for five people. Or perhaps just one like me. This time, you know what? I'm gonna start with the fish again. I'm gonna make about four lay, maybe five. Oh yes. And if you cut them a little bit thicker, so what? <sighs> yes. Just a few more leaves of sage. Let's use the parmigiano now. Before I use the last lay, let me just do this little bit extra. See, when I actually I cut it, I directed myself. You can see I use my knife and uh, I use the skin as a kind of a barrier because the skin is quite tough. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Let's put a nice few potato. Any more? Any more? Oh my God, this is going to be really good. A little bit of a butter just to go on top because I want this butter to melt it. Gets through the potato, gets through the fish, through the sage, through the parmigiano. A little bit of black pepper again and a little touch of salt. Lots and lots of a parmigiano to cover up. Yeah, yes, this is what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, get a nice aluminum foil and cover. When you cover anything, don't cover it with a very shiny one on top. Cover up the one less shiny because this is will reflect heater. The other one will observe, will take its heater on. Now it is ready to go in the oven. We're gonna cook it for about 20 minutes, about 180 centigrade for 20 minutes and then we remove the foil and we cook for another extra 10 minutes so the oven until it becomes lovely and nice and crispy. Oh my man, you will love it. Right, let's put this one in. Oh my man, just put it. Just cover. Mom, look at this. I can't believe it. Of course I have to believe it. Why I say I cannot believe it? Singing. This is what we're talking about. What a joy. What a celebration to cook the lovely fish. My goodness me. You can see the lovely parmigiano on top. They all go lovely. Cooks burn it crispy everywhere. You can see the potato nice and crisp down underneath that are full of juice. Hallelujah. Now, first of all, I've done this beautiful salad, little tomato. Then let's cut it. Ah, it's hot. No, it's not hot. Ah, look it flaky. Come on. If somebody make it better, I don't want to know, I'm only joking. Of course, I would like to know it. Just put it inside the plate. Did you remember I was just telling you there is juice? Oh, something fell off. <sighs> Look at this beauty juice, bit of butter. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness me. Full of flavor of the fish. Oh, yes. Now, I'm gonna serve it with a lovely shave of a parmigiano. I almost don't want to eat it, but nothing else I can do. Can you see the fish? How well it's cooked inside? Oh 
Oh my God. Mm. So good. The fish, the sage, the butter, the potato, of course. Wouldn't be good without this. When I grated this parmigiano region on it, changed everything. Please try to make it. It's quite simple to do it. You will enjoy it. Can I say another word? Why I'm cooking? No, I can't say it. I'm too old to say that. Why you follow me? So all right, you cannot tell me all that. It's mine as well. Ha! I'll take him anyway. Arrivederci!